Hello guys, welcome back to Serial File with me, Sam. Happy New Year, everybody. I sincerely hope you had a great end of the year and that you are having a wonderful beginning of this new year. Um, and I really have nothing but best wishes for all of you guys. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I realize that I kind of blend in with the couch <laughs> now, but no, <laughs> it's not. So um, this is a happy, sad video because, um, well, happy it's the new year, happy new year, but also a bit sad because as you can read in the, in the description, um, Mexico says goodbye, adios, to our beloved mascots. So it's not only Kellogg's, it's actually um, all, all mascots on cereal boxes, um, any type of breakfast products that have mascots, cartoon mascots, um, I don't know, snack cakes. Yeah, like wherever you can find one of these, they are leaving Mexico now. Um, but we're really going to miss them. And because of that, actually Kellogg's made these special boxes. These are um, special edition boxes. You can see, well, this is Melvin from Choco Crispies. I know he's not um, famous anywhere but here, <laughs> I think, here in Mexico. But um, this is like the original Melvin from the 60s. And this is the Melvin that we have now. Well, the last Melvin we're gonna see on this box. So we're saying goodbye to Melvin, Tony the Tiger. You can, you obviously know Tony. Uh, this is also the 60s version from the box. And right behind we have the current Tony. <laughs> that is also going away. Uh, Sucaritas, as you know, are Frosted Flakes. And we also have a special box for Fruit Loops. Uh, I don't see much difference between this older version of Sam, of Toucan Sam, and this, which should be the newer one. Honestly, it's like <laughs> not very different. But uh, it is a special box. All of these boxes are special edition. Um, Kellogg's is doing this, you know, to say goodbye to their beloved mascots. Um, but like I said, it's not only them. I'm going to be showing you some pictures, guys, about Choco Crispies, the new box that you can find now at the grocery store, the new Sucaritas box as well, um, without without Tony, without Melvin, the new box of Fruit Loops. Um, we have this also on General Mills or here in Mexico we have Nestle. And it's also going on with Trix. We're missing the Silly Rabbit now, the Nesquik cereal, Cookie Crisp. I mean, they're all, they're all gone. So you can see those new boxes on the pictures. And that's what we're gonna see now, or from now on, unfortunately. So whenever I do have a mascot or one of these characters in my boxes, in my next reviews, it's because that box was shipped or you know ordered online, but it's not made here in Mexico. So that's pretty sad. And because of this, because of this um, special edition. We're going to be trying out the, I'm actually going to move the boxes now. <laughs> Sorry, I'll put them, I'll put them back here so you can still see them. I guess, yeah, we can still see the boxes back here. Tony, by the way, who's your favorite, guys? Who's your favorite um, cereal character, mascot, whatever? Let me know. Um, we're going to be trying out the mezcladito, which is um, the mix of Frosted Flakes, Sucaritas, we have Tony, we've got Melvin with some Choco Crispies Pops, we've already reviewed those Pops, um, we've got Sam with Fruit Loops, 
And we've also got corn pops. Corn pops are in this cereal as well. So we've got four cereals from Kellogg's, of course, and they're all mixed up. So we're gonna be trying that out as a tribute, I guess, to these wonderful guys that we won't be seeing anymore. Uh, yes, the milk is going in first. I know I'm awful. This is terrible but that's how I eat it. <laughs> so um, also guys, how was your New Year's holiday? Let me know. I hope you had a wonderful time and I really hope you eat a lot of cereal and I'm really excited to see what new cereals are coming this year. Oh, well, we can see there are, everything's mixed in there. Even the box says that you should, you should shake it before before you pour this in. So, why not? <laughs> I did, I did shake it a little bit before this. <gasps> I know I've said this before, but bags, cereal bags in Mexico are so much harder to open. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's, it's even a different material. Like, okay, okay. So yeah, I see all of the cereals that were mentioned here. Well, I'll leave this box. Um, we can see all of them. We've got the Choco Krispies Pops, uh, Sucaritas, Frosted Flakes, Fruit Loops, and Corn Pops. So I'm gonna put these all together, of course, all mixed up, and have a nice bite of everything. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. Okay. It's pretty weird <laughs> because, I mean, you can definitely taste all of them in there individually, and yet they make a pretty interesting mix. I like that it's sweet. Mm. 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 There's a frosted flake there. <laughs> mm. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna rate this, of course, as a whole, as a cereal. Um, I will be checking them out individually very soon. <laughs> but uh, this one is a cereal all together, and that's how we're going to read it. So um, I have to say flavor, you can definitely taste all of them in there, the individual cereals. But it's, I mean, it's sweet because you get the sweetness of the Frosted Flakes and the Fruit Loops. Um, but you know, there's also like the chocolatey part. So I don't even know like what to say about it. It's, it's strange. It's a really strange mix. Um, I guess I'm gonna give flavor uh, an eight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. I mean, I love mixing cereals. So the fact that these are already all mixed up, well, that's pretty cool to be honest. And it's not a bad flavor. Even though they're so different, they make a pretty good, pretty good cereal. <laughs> um, texture, texture. Once again, we have four individual textures that um, that are very different. Um, like I said, um, cereal here in Mexico is a little bit crunchier than in other places. So that's. That can be, I'm gonna say a problem maybe for me. I don't like when it's so crunchy, but also um, it's good because it doesn't get soggy so quickly. Mm. Um, not bad, not a bad texture. I'm gonna give it as a whole um, a seven for texture. Why not? And well, the presentation, the IRL, uh, there's nothing nothing, I'm gonna say special, 
about what we see here. Really what we see is what we get. I mean, we get Fruit Loops, we get Frosted Flakes, Choco Pops, and Choco Krispies Pops, and Corn Pops. Um, yeah, of course, colors are prettier in the box, brighter, I don't know, glossier maybe, but this is exactly what you get. So I'll give it a nine. And I really want to thank you guys for joining me in this very sad, um, beloved mascot journey because it's the end of an era, I think. I'm really going to miss these guys. It was great growing up with them and it's going to be really weird not to see them anymore as you saw in the pictures. Those boxes are just pictures of cereal and these lovely guys are gone. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Melvin. Bye, Tony. Bye, Sam. Bye, guys. Thank you.